Hello everyone, this is group 12. In this video, we are going to talk about Transformer and its application on spoken language identification. To understand the history of Transformer, we need to first answer this question. Why do we need attention mechanism? Attention mechanism was first introduced into RNN structure in 2014. RNN by nature is forgetful. It cannot remember long sequences. Also, it has no focus on the important parts of one sentence. Attention layer solves the bad memory by adding interaction between the outputs and the hidden states in the encoder. And it provides focus by adding soft attention weights. Before we explain the transformer structure, we need to first introduce the concept of self-attention or intra-attention, which is a famous attention mechanism in natural language processing. It is designed to capture intrinsic dependency based on interaction between elements within one input sequence. Self-attention layer is an important part in transformer structure. For input, self-attention uses projection matrix to get query, key, and value. They use query and key to get attention weights and then generate weighted value to get final output. From a natural language processing point of view, query just works as a question to ask where we should focus in the sentence. Key is a character of a group of words, and value is the representation of the word itself. This is a quick example of how data is processed in a self-attention layer. Assume the input is a sentence, the dog is happy. The word embedding of this sentence serves as the input of a self-attention layer, and it generates Q, K, and V for each word. When processing the fourth word happy, for example, it uses happy's query and all keys to get the score, and then get the weighted value of each word and finally do summation to generate the final output. Now it's time we look at encoder and decoder structure. The encoder structure is just a couple of encoder layers stacking on top of each other. For each encoder layer, it has two sublayers. The first is a multi-head self-attention mechanism, as introduced before, and the second is a simple, position-wise, fully connected feedforward network. For decoder layers, in addition to the two sublayers in each encoder layer, the decoder inserts a third sublayer, which performs multi-head attention over the output of the encoder stack. This is an example of a complete structure of a transformer. It uses a positional encoding as input the previous output will be sent to the decoder when generating current output. Is attention interpretable? This is a controversial topic. There are two contradictory papers regarding this argument, which are attention is not explanation versus attention is not not explanation. The core argument is that for a well-trained model, if alternative attention distributions exist so that similar results obtained by the original model can be achieved, then the original model's attention score is not interpretable. This is a discussion about the uniqueness of the attention weights. It seems that different tasks have different results after replacing the well-trained attention weights by other distributions. Now, we look at our spoken language classification problem where we apply transformer to classify spoken language signal into three classes, English, Mandarin, and Hindi. When solving this problem, we fix sequence length to 500, which represents 5 seconds of input. We can make the model causal by adding a mask to prevent interaction between current signal and future signal but we cannot make it a streaming model like RNN. We train three types of models, RNN models, model with only self-attention layers, 
and transformer with encoder layers. Since we fixed the sequence length, we didn't consider this as a real-time signal processing problem. Each model has four blocks, and the last two blocks are just two fully connected layers that serves as classifiers. The first is a regular island model which has two GRU layers. The second is bidirectional RNN, which has two GRU layers in each block. The next one is the model that has two self-attention blocks, which consists of a self-attention layer followed by a normalization layer. The last one has two encoder blocks, which consists of self-attention layer, add and normalization layers, and feed-forward layer. We trained 50 epoch for each model. As you can see, bidirectional RNN is the slowest during training because it has four layers of GRU. The one with only self-attention layer is the fastest. Bidirectional RNN and transformer performs the best, but transformer trains a lot faster. The reason why transformer is faster is because RNN is a sequential model where we have to compute hidden layers one by one. Transformer, on the other hand, has parallel structure. The reason why these two models perform relatively well is that transformers use self-attention layers to take into account the correlation between each sample in one sequence. Bidirectional RNN takes two directions instead of just the previous state like regular RNN. Also, we can see that for NLP tasks, transformers with only one or two encoder layers do not necessarily perform better than RNN but it might perform better when it has a deeper structure. To compare with the model with only self-attention layers, we can see that structures like normalization layers and feedforward layers definitely improved the performance. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.